DJs should be using DJ Pro AI. With so many choices in DJ software, it can be impossible to find one that suits all your needs. Are you a DJ that likes to have complete control? Well, Virtual DJ is for you. But Virtual DJ isn't really snappy and it's kind of overly complicated. Next, of course, is Serato. But with Serato, you get what you get and they nickel and dime you for features. Now, you could always use Rekordbox, but then you're stuck using only Pioneer hardware. And last but not least, you have Traktor, but Traktor puts you in the same spot as Rekordbox because you can only use Native Instruments hardware with Traktor. Whack. Now, if only there was a software out there that had really great hardware compatibility. The ability to customize things was feature packed and really snappy and gave you all of its features for one price. As it turns out, such software actually does exist and it comes in the form of Algorithms DJ Pro AI. And I'm here to tell you why it's amazing. I have been a faithful Serato user since Serato Scratch Live. And one thing that has never changed, no matter how much they update the program, is their library management. It is the one thing that I hate the most about Serato. Having to make an update crates is actually really annoying, especially considering all I'm doing is mirroring the folders on my hard drive through crates. However, DJ Pro AI's library management is light years ahead of Serato. And I would even argue Virtual DJ. My favorite part about DJ Pro's library management is the ability to structure it however you want. If you're like me and make folders on your hard drive and just want to DJ off your hard drive, you can do that with DJ Pro AI. You can add the folders from your external hard drive or internal hard drive to the My Files section of the program. The folders that you add to My Files are searchable and not only can you search every single folder, but you can pick a folder and just search that folder individually. And the cool thing is when you add music to a folder, DJ Pro AI picks it up and knows that it's there and shows it in the program so you don't have to do anything. Which for me is really awesome and really convenient because it eliminates the steps of me having to find the music on my drive, create a crate and add that music to the crate. It does it all automatically for me. If you're a DJ who actually likes making crates or prefers to make playlists, well, you can actually do that too. There's a section called My Collection where you can create playlists and organize them using folders. The niftiest part about DJ Pro AI's library management though is you can monitor folders. What that means is you can select the folder, let's say it's your 2025 updates folder. Whenever you add music to that folder, as long as it's being monitored by DJ Pro AI, that music will populate in the recently added section under my collection. At that point, all you have to do is drag and drop into a playlist and now you have an updated playlist with all of your updated music. Cool. And you can actually choose to monitor a folder that's internally on your computer or on an external hard drive. Like I said, DJ's library management is light years ahead of Serato and I would argue all day long that it crushes Virtual DJ's library management as well. Now, the one thing about Virtual DJ and DJ Pro AI that they have in common is you don't need any type of hardware to use the software with all of its features. The minute you open the program up, you have access to all of its features. No hardware is actually required to use either program, which is really cool. Unlike Serato, where in order to do that, you have to spend $9.99 a month on a subscription to get access to their play feature. Now, personally, I would never just use my laptop to DJ, but this is super convenient when I'm putting together ideas for a mix, or if I generally just wanna hear how two things sound playing together, being able to use things like EQs or stems, it's really convenient to be able to do that. And since DJ was created for a touch interface, it does do some really nifty things using the multi-touch trackpad on a MacBook. The next thing that absolutely crushes Serato is the fluid beat grids that are powered by AI. The beat grids actually adjust to tempo changes and reflect those changes on screen in real time. Let's take a look at the song I'm a Bee by the Black Eyed Peas. This song starts out at 92 beats per minute, but at the end, it jumps all the way up to 122 beats per minute. 
As the song starts to increase the tempo, just take a notice of how that's being reflected in the software. This works for any track that has a tempo change and it's really useful. Basic beat gridding is pretty good as well, but DJ does suffer from the same thing Serato does where it'll show you a 75 BPM track and label it as 150 BPM. Luckily to change this, it's really simple. You just click on the beat grid, click on the half mark and it'll adjust it for you and you're good to go. If I'm being real with you, adjusting the beat Beat grids in general is actually super simple. Overall, DJ Pro destroys the competition when it comes to beat grids. Next is hardware support, and this is either really awesome or kind of a bummer depending on what operating system you're using DJ Pro AI on. DJ was conceived for iOS and then ported to Mac OS, and they have the best hardware support. DJ is now available on Windows and Android, but both of those platforms have limited hardware support. This really shouldn't be an issue though, because you should be using a Mac anyway, right? Mac OS supports all the standard club gear like CDJs and 900 mixers. The one downside to DJ DJ is that on some hardware, there are features that are missing. God damn it! So for example, I own a Pioneer DDJ Rev 7. Everything works well with DJ, with the exception of the screens on the platter. They don't work. Before you decide to make the jump to DJ, just go on Algorithm's website, check out the hardware, make sure it's compatible with your operating system, and make sure that it doesn't have any features missing that are absolutely crucial to your performance. There are 27 pieces of kit on the list that are affected, but if I may roll with you, it's mostly all screens that just don't work. Now, all DJ software has access to streaming services, but DJ DJ Pro AI has access to a streaming service that no other DJ program will ever have access to. And that, my friends, is Apple Music. Algorithm is part of the app developer program, and DJ Pro is on the app store for both Mac OS and iOS. No other DJ software has those creds, so that's the reason why DJ Pro is always going to have Apple Music, and the rest of the programs are probably never gonna get it. The even cooler thing about DJ Pro AI and streaming services is you can log in to multiple streaming services at one time. The services DJ Pro AI supports are Apple Music, BeatSource, Beatport, Tidal, and SoundCloud. So, like I said, you have plenty of options and you can be logged into all of them all the time. Just like every other program, DJ Pro AI has stems, key lock, autoplay, and built-in effects. It just does it all better because it's all done with the help of AI. DJ will also suggest music to you if you're drawing a blank. You can even preview a track without putting it in a deck to cue. Then there's the crossfader effects, which are amazing. There are so many really useful features with DJ Pro AI, and if we want to learn all about them, let me know and I'll make a video about it. Lastly, there's the ability to customize the software for your workflow or personal preference. You can choose where your waveforms go, how your jog wheels look, and whether or not you want it to be in light or dark mode. You can also change between light and dark mode by clicking the button at the bottom of the screen. There are a ton of settings, and for example, I couldn't really get with DJ Pro AI's keyboard shortcuts. The way they have their shortcuts made is to DJ off of your laptop, and it didn't really fit my workflow. But because you can customize your keyboard shortcuts in DJ, I was able to create shortcuts that work perfect for my workflow. Taking the things I loved from Serato with my own ideas, I was able to come up with a completely custom keyboard shortcut assignment. Overall, DJ Pro AI is a really, really good program that often gets overlooked. It definitely doesn't get the praise it deserves. It's like the developers took all the best parts of their competition, shined them up real nice, threw in some AI, and gave us this really awesome program. It's powerful, it's fun to use, but there is a major downside to DJ Pro AI. DJ Pro AI is a subscription-only DJ program. What? But it's only $40 a year, and if you compare that to buying Serato DJ Pro with all the bells and whistles, it is still significantly cheaper. Since we're wrapping up, I'm gonna ask you a question. Leave it in the comments. Would you ever give DJ Pro AI a try? Have you converted to DJ Pro AI? If you have, do you like it? Do you love it? Do you hate it? I wanna know everything. Give me your opinions, people. Tell me what DJ software you use and if you're even interested in using DJ Pro AI.
As always, if you made it to the end of this video, I'd like to say thank you so much for watching. If you found anything valuable in the content, please subscribe to the channel. We have a bunch of videos going over the technology that we use as DJs with a ton more coming down the pipeline. My name is Seth, AKA DJ Seth V. This is DJ Tech Tips. Thank you for watching and we out.